the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We want to thank God for another time to be gathered together uh, to appreciate God and to thank Him as we cross into another month. Father, thank you for another time of gathering together. Can we just bless the name of the Lord? Can we just thank Him? Father, thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for another time together. And to thank you as we cross into a new month. I want to say thank you. Blessed be your name, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. As we continue, Father, we invite your presence. And for everyone that is listening to me, those under the sound of my voice, wherever they are all over the world, I pray that this time will be a time of blessings. Your name will be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want us to start on a note of appreciation to thank God who has watched over us till this moment. In the next few minutes, we'll be crossing into another month. It's going to be another quarter. Incidentally, we'll be crossing into the second half of the year. And I don't want us to take it for granted. I want us to see God as the one who has seen us through. Let's open our Bibles as we appreciate God. From Psalm 98, he says, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. In his right hand and in his holy arms has gotten him victory. Verse 2 continues in Psalm 98. He says, The Lord has made known his salvation, his righteousness as he opened, openly showed, in the sight of the heathen. Verse 3. He has remembered his mercies and his truth towards the children of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Verse 4. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praises. Verse 5. Sing unto the Lord with a harp, with a harp. And with the Psalms, verse 6, with trumpet and sounds of cornet, make a joyful noise before the Lord, the King. Verse 8, let the sea roar, let the, and the fullness thereof, the roar and all that dwell therein. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills be joyful together before the Lord, for he comes to, jo to judge the earth. With righteousness shall he judge the war and the people with equity. Praise ye the Lord. So looking at that scripture that I've read, you see the psalmist in a joyful mood. And he was even saying that, sing a new song. And that's where I want us to start. To sing a new song, to appreciate God. That six months of this year will soon be over and we will start the journey of the second half. And God has been good to you. God has been good to me. And we are part of the living today. Hallelujah. And when you look at that Psalms that we have read, verse 4 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all the earth. Make a joyful noise and rejoice and sing praises. You know, he said, let the flood, let them clap their hands. Can you imagine? Floods. They have hands by which they can clap. He said, let the hills rejoice together. It means hills, they have a means by which they can appreciate God. Hallelujah. He says, for us human beings, we should sing a new song. In verse 6, he said, let the trumpet, let it sound. Let the sound of the corner come. Verse 5, he said, let's sing with a harp. So I want us, wherever you are listening to me, if you know God has been good to you, can you just sing a song of appreciation? 
just to thank God and say, Father, thank you. I will sing my own song, but I also want you to sing a song to just appreciate God. You alone have to worthy of our praise. You alone have to worthy of our praise. You alone have to worthy of our praise. You alone are 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 to worthy. Over the world shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to thee, O Lord? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to thee, O Lord? Hallelujah. What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to thee, O Lord? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to thee, O Lord? I render praises. I render praises. I render praises to you, O Lord. I will praise your name. And shout hallelujah. I render praises to you, O Lord. Baba to you, O we of the glory. To you, Jesus, we of the honor. To you, ancient of this, we of the power. And adoration for the mom. I render praises, I render praises, I render praises to you, O Lord. I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. I render praises to you, O Lord. Baba to you, O we all the glory to you, Jesus. Be all the honor to you, ancient of death. Be all the power and adoration for Verily, good, verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are In the morning, you are good. Noon time, you are good. Every day, you are good. Jesus, you are good. I feel like praising the Lord. Oh, oh, oh. I feel like praising the Lord. For I have taught. The hem of his garment I feel like praising the Lord. Praise him, praise him. I feel like praising the Lord. I feel like praising the Lord. For I have torn the hem of his garment I feel like praising the Lord. Amen and amen and amen. One of the reasons why we've got to praise the Lord, verse 3 say, He has remembered His mercies and His truth towards the house of Israel. I want us to thank Him for His mercies that He has shown to you. He has shown to your household. He has shown to us, wherever we belong to, to our family member. Can we just open our mouth and just appreciate God for the mercies that He has shown to us? The Bible says he has shown his mercy and his truth to the house of Israel. Thank you for showing us your mercy and your truth 
despite all things that are happening around us, he has shown us his mercy and his truth. He has shown us his mercies and his truth. He has shown us his mercies and his truth. He has shown us his mercies and his truth. Thank you, Father, that we are recipients of your mercy. Oh, for the mercy of the Lord. Oh, thank you for the grace of God that we have enjoyed. I want to say thank you that we are part of the living today. It's because we have enjoyed your mercy. Thank you, Father, for the mercy of the Lord. Oh, Kaliba Bosotoria, can you just worship me? Can you just wave your hand like, as a means of praising the Lord, as a means of honoring the Lord, as a means of appreciating God, and say thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Oh, that is ever new. That is ever new. That is ever new. Oh, every morning he showed us his mercy. And today we are part of the living. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That we belong to the house of Israel. That God has shown his mercy and his truth. We want to say thank you. That we belong to the house of Israel. That God has shown his mercy and truth. We want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All we have to say is thank you, Hallelujah. 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 So he says he has, he has remembered his mercies and his truth towards the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth has seen the salvation of our God. Thank him because by the salvation of the law, you are part of the living today. He saved you from all the dangers around. He saved you from all the problems around. I just came from a meeting most recently, and a pastor was sharing testimony how some people were kidnapped, how some of his members escaped during this kidnap. Oh, he was, another one was giving a testimony how a vehicle that was in front of them ran into arm robber. But the car in which he was in was able to escape. I know if I'm able to, to ask you, what are your testimonies in these past six months that's about rolling by and we are starting the journey of the next six months, you will have a testimony to say. I will have my own testimony. Can you just sum up those testimony and just thank the Lord and say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you that I am alive today. Thank you that I've enjoyed the salvation of the Lord. Thank you that he has delivered me from every works of the devil. Thank you that I am part of the living. And I can say I have seen the salvation of the Lord in the land of the living. Can you just bless the name of the Lord? That you are not in the land of the dead now. You are in the land of the living. It is the doing of the Lord. It is marvelous in our sight. And we need to thank you. Can we with a grateful heart say, Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy to receive the praise, the glory, the honor, the adoration, and the thanksgiving. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praised. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The last thing I want to do in this session of just appreciating God is for you, as you sing your song to appreciate God, clap your hands, dance. You know, that scripture we read tells us in verses 7 and 8, he said, the sea, the roar. The sea, the roar. That's their own way by which they are praising the Lord. And when you get to the sea, really, and you hear the billow, he said that roaring is a means of praising the Lord. 
He says, and the fullness thereof. And they that dwell therein. He said, the floods, they clap their hands. The floor, they clap their hands. He says, they heal. They rejoice together. So I want you, as someone that knows God's goodness and you are appreciative, you clap your hands, you dance, you sing, you rejoice in your own dialect, in your own way, just to appreciate God in the next few minutes. That say, Father, thank you. Ah, you can even sing or clap your hands and dance in your dialect, in your look, just to appreciate God and say, Father, it is your doing. Can you just go ahead and appreciate God? If you want to thank him in your vernacular language, can you just go ahead and just appreciate this God? Oh, Lord, oh, me, I like that, I mean, oh, but don't show me, but you know, but go, we do pay more, yeah, more, yeah, more, yeah. Ah, ke pasidli ka soto lebo shantaria. Eh, mo yika o, tu mo yika o si, mo juba o. Oh Lord, oh Lord, can you just worship Him? Can you just thank Him and eulogize this God for what He has done? Clap your hand, dance, rejoice, because God is good. God is awesome. Ali kato bali gaza gada gada. Eh, lendele bo su katakaya. Ni kapari ande kutaka gada ba. We worship you, Lord. We bow before you. I join the twenty-four elders to say, Holy, Holy. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. E katuba li kaza katara. Ayi yiton, mojubare. Aki kiton, mojubare. Olono alagwara, mojubare. Obaton shongbo, bonino ngobo. Mojubare. Olu bala, olu oson, olu pese, olu dande. Alagwara, mojyo. I hope you are singing your own vernacular language. Just to praise God. No more Lua Mimore. A woman look in Mobe Oga. No more. He joins a new Mobe Oga. No more. No more Lua Mimore. No more Lua Mimore. O wo mi lo ki mo be oga wo mo lo ijo lese mi o mo be oga o mo mo re aki kiton o lo ni fe aki kiton o lo iye wo yi o lo go wo furi bale aki kiton o lo iye. Thank you, Father. We worship you, Lord. We exalt your name. We magnify your name. Your praises will never depart out of our mouth. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. Praise ye the Lord. Can you turn your Bibles quickly with me to Psalm 31? Psalm 31. And from there we're going to pray in the next few minutes as we come into this second half of the year. Psalm 31. I want us to commit this our new season into the hands of the Lord. Psalm 31. And I want to read from verse Psalm 31, I want to read from verse 13 to 18. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. Why they two cancel together against me? They devised to take away my life. But I trust in thee, O Lord. I say, Thou art my God. Verse 15. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hands of my enemy and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. 
Let me not be ashamed, O Lord. For I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed. And let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence. Which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Verse 19. For how great is thy goodness. Which thou hast laid off for them that fear thee. Which thou hast wrought for them that trust in thee. Before the sons of men. Verse 20. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of men. Thou shalt keep them secretly in, the, in a pavilion from the strive of tongues. Praise ye the Lord. From this scripture, very quickly, I want us to pray. Now, I want you to see in verse 15 that the psalmist says, My times are in thy hands. Times and seasons from the days, the weeks, the months, and the year. And it's important for us to know that when we talk about times and seasons, they are occurrences that continue in life. And every one of us, we go through times and seasons. Crossing over to the second half of this year is a season. The first half is gone. And you know, for those of you who know your climate, those who know your geography, you will know that when we have change in times and season is a means to show we are moving from one level to another. The rotation of the earth. The, the, the revolution of the sun, the, the revolution of the sun and, and the moon and the earth and all that we were told in our own level geography is what brings about the times and the season. So you find that in temperate regions, you find the season that is called winter. You, call, you find the season that is called summer. You find a season that is called fall. You know there is a season that is called autumn. And those seasons are unique. Those seasons have something that stands out. In the winter, it is extremely cold. In summer, it is extremely hot. And then the autumn and the fall, they are mild seasons. Fall is telling you you are moving into winter. Autumn is telling you you are coming out of winter. You are going into the summer. So they have something unique. And I have come to tell someone listening to me. Having come to the second half of this year, you will have a good season that you will be able to praise the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus. So the psalmist said, my seasons... My times were in your hands. We have come to a new season. Secondly, I want us to know that in any football match, the second half determines a lot of things. Because it's at the end of the second half that the game will be over. And as we start this journey, running it through this year to the end of this year, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. We shall end well. Can you say with me, I shall end well. Hey, you are not saying it. Can you say boldly and clearly that I shall end well. Can you say it one more time? With every assurance in your heart that I shall end well. Can you say one to go? I shall end well. Amen and amen and amen. Why was the psalmist saying? My seasons are in your hand. Why was he saying that? Verse 15 tells us, My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and from them that persecute me. The psalmist was saying that because there was persecution all around him. The psalmist was saying that there are challenges all around him. Look at verse 13, where we started from. What did the psalmist say? 
He said, for I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. When you look at those phrases that the psalmist used in verse 13, are they not relevant to us in our world today? He said, fear is all around me. And if I'm to ask everyone listening to me, is fear not around you? Fear is all around us. So many things will make us to fear. That was what the psalmist was going through. That's why he said, my times and seasons are in your hand. Because everything around me is fearful. Can I go through this season successfully? But I have come to announce to you, by the authority that's in the name of you, you will go through this season successfully in the name of you. Say, fear! They are all around me. And I want us to start to pray from there because our time is running fast. I want you to talk to the Lord. Deliver me from every fear in this new season in the name of Jesus. Can you open your mouth and pray? Yeah, deliver me from every fearful thing that is prevalent in this second half of this year. Can you send the word of God ahead? Yeah, there will be fearful things in this second half of the year. But I want you to pray. I am delivered by the authority that's in the name of God because I'm sending the word ahead. The Bible says he sent forth his word and he healed them. He delivered them from every destruction. Can you send the word of God ahead and say, Father, I send the word of God ahead to every fearful thing in the second half of the year. Father, I destroy, I pull down every fearful thing. They will not overwhelm me. They will not pull me down. They will not confuse me. They will not run me down. In the name of Jesus, yeah, every fearful thing, I, I come against you by the word of God. In the name of Jesus, I pull you down. I pull you down. I pull you down. In the name of Jesus, can you open your mouth and pray? So many things could make one to be fearful. Yeah, it could be physical, it could be spiritual, it could be material. But the Bible says, it says, fear is all around me. Father, every fear around me, you deliver me from them. They will not consume me in this journey of this new season. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Yes, I am delivered from every fearful situation and circumstance. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want us to pray that prayer one more time. So many things could bring fear. You may imagine some. You may not be able to imagine some. But I want us to pray. Whatever they are, that is fearful. That could make one. You know, it was, uh, it was Job. When he was going through his problem, he said, the thing that I have been fearful about, has come to me. And I know there are people under the sound of my voice. There are things that make you to be fearful. There are those, as they come to the second half of the year, there is a particular sickness that has always been ravaging them. As you send the word of God ahead now, you are delivered in the name of Jesus. There are some in their places of war, there is this particular fearful thing that will come and will always devastate them. That's why you've got to pray. Listen to me, Joy. I remember there's a woman many, many years ago. It's not that she doesn't get pregnant, but she gets pregnant. But when it gets to a particular month, the thing will come down. So whenever she's pregnant, she's always afraid that particular season. But thank God, as we prayed together many years ago, God answered our prayer. She was able to overcome that fear. And that, see, that fearful scenario was overcome. And today, by the grace of God, the woman had two or three, three children. That's what, what I'm talking about. There are fearful things around us. And this second half of the year has its own fearful situation. But I want you to talk to God. In the name that is above every name, I am delivered from every fearful situation in the name of Jesus. Can you open your mouth and talk to the Lord? Yes, in this second half of the year, every fearful situation, every fearful circumstance, I am delivered in the name of God the Father, 
I am delivered. In the name of God the Son, I am delivered. In the name of God the Holy Ghost, Father, so let it be. I am delivered by the power of God. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Look at that same verse. It says, I'm, I'm, I'm still on verse 13. The first thing, why is the psalmist was asking that his signs are in the hands of the Lord, that the Lord should deliver him. He said, why they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. Another reason why the psalmist was committing his season into God's hand is that there are counsels that are not of God. There are counsels that are from the pit of hell to, de to, to destroy. And that's why I want us to pray. Let's talk to God. Every counsel against God's perfect will for my life, this second half of the year, it shall not stand. Can you say with me, every counsel? Some of you are not talking. Can you shout it? Every cancer against the counsel of God for my life shall not stand this new season and forever in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and turn it to prayer. No cancer, no cancer, no cancer from the pit of hell that shall stand in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Are you praying? Any can it over the way? Can you for your other Tori Olu Ale Mi Baduro. No cancel of the USA. They two cancel together. Pakatu Kereke Badi Kadaga. Hey, only the cancel of God will come to pass in my life. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Can you open your mouth and pray? I scatter every devil, the, the, the demonic cancer. I scatter every devilish cancer. I scatter every cancer that is not of God. He shall not stand. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. He shall not stand. Scatter it. In the name of God, no cancer from the pit of hell that shall stand. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Yes, can you extend it? Pray for your children, pray for your wife, pray for your husband. No cancer against my wife. No cancer against my husband. No cancer against my children. No cancer against my loved one that is not of God that shall stand. This second half of the year, in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost, as I decree, Father, let there be a performance. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Look at that same verse we are looking at. Why was it that the psalmist was saying, my seasons are in your hand? Because there are so many fearful things that could make him not to enjoy the season. There are so many counsels that is not of God that if they are not dealt with, they could destabilize him and cause him not to be able to achieve. That's why he was praying. And that's why we are also praying that no fearful thing will be able to rob us of God's eternal plan and blessing this second half of the year in the name of Jesus. That no counsel against all that shall stand. In the, look at the last phrase in that verse 13. Say, they devise to take my life. Can you say with me, I shall not die? And some of you are not. Say, I shall not die. Say, I shall live to declare the glory of God. Can you say it? I shall not die. Say, I shall live to declare the glory of God. Can you say it one more time? I shall not die. I shall live to declare the glory of God. That's the prayer. You see, there are cancers that are taken, and what is it? To take away my life. We will not die before your time. So I want us to pray. Every cancer to take away my life, I destroy in the name of Jesus. Every cancer 
to take away my life, I nullify in the name of Jesus. Every cancer to take away my life, I nullify in the name of Jesus. Every cancer to take away my life, I nullify in the name of Jesus. Every cancer to take away my life, I nullify in the name of Jesus. He shall not stand. Only the cancer of God shall stand in the name of Jesus. Only the cancer of God shall stand in the name of Jesus. Only the cancer of God shall stand in the name of Jesus. Only the cancer of God shall stand in the name of Jesus. Only the cancer of God shall stand. Thank you, Father. As we have decreed, there shall be a performance. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Verse 14 says, But I trust in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. I want us to talk to God in this new season. We will not deny God. I know when I've said that, some will be looking, what is, what, what's pastor saying? There are situations that could make people to deny God. Say, I have said, I have put my trust in thee. Thou art my God. The Sabbath said it with confidence. You remember that there was a time when Peter post boasted, Jesus told him, you will deny me. He said, no. But when the chips were down, Peter denied Jesus. I want you to talk to the Lord in this second half of this year. No situation, no circumstance will make you deny the Lord. No situation, no circumstance will make you deny the Lord. Can you open your mouth and talk to the Lord? No situation, no circumstance will make me deny the Lord. I receive courage. I, I receive strength. I receive sp spiritual strength uh, to be able to stand whatever it is. My faith in him will never fail in the name of Jesus. My faith in him will never fail in the name of Jesus. Yeah, my faith in him will never fail in the name of Jesus. Yeah, that song that I've been singing, yeah, will work for me. I'm satisfied with Jesus. I am satisfied with him. My faith in him will never fail. I am satisfied with Jesus. My faith in the Lord will never fail. In this second half journey, my faith in the Lord will never fail. Can you declare that before the Lord? My faith in the Lord will never fail. In the name of Jesus. Yes, I'm satisfied with Jesus. I declare you are my Lord. And my faith in you will never fail. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost, as I decree, as I decree, so Father, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus, my faith in you will never fail. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want us to pray that prayer one more time. For Peter, he boasted, but he couldn't stand by his boast. It was before a small girl. That he denied the law. That's an aspect. And that's why I still want us to pray. But do you know. There was a time in a nation. When a king came. And brought a golden image. And said everybody must bow down. And they must worship. But the Bible tells us. Of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. And I want us to pray. Are you listening to me? You walk in a place. We are in, they always want you to bow down your head to things that are not godly. That's why you've got to pray. Whenever you compromise, you are bowed down your head against things that are not godly. The king came and he said, everyone must bow. But thank God for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That's why you've got to pray and send the word of God ahead. Everything and anything that will make you to bow down your head for things contrary to God, you overcome. You receive boldness to be able to stand like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. My hair will not be bowed down. My hair will not be bowed down. My hair will not be bowed down. Can you open your mouth and pray? Can you open your mouth and pray? Can you open your mouth and pray? Lucas Kalababa. 
Hey, can you open your mouth and pray and decree before the Lord? I receive strength. The prayer I'm praying now will work for me as I go through this second half of this year in the name that is above every name. My head will not be bowed down. My head will not be bowed down. My head will not be bowed down. In the name of Jesus, no situation, no circumstances, no demon, no principality, no power. We bow down my head. In the name of Jesus, as I decree, so let it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. One more time, we're going to pray that prayer. Yes, by demonic activities, head could be bowed down. Like the king said, everybody must bow down. But do you know sorrow, disappointment, challenges can bow down people's head. Can you talk to the Lord in this my journey of this second half of the year? No sorrow will bow down my head. No disappointment will bow down my head. No challenge will bow down my head. I am an overcomer in the name of Jesus. Can you declare that before the Lord? Can you declare that before the Lord? Can you declare that before the Lord? No sorrow will bow down my head. No situation and circumstance will bow down my head. No circumstances will bow down my head. I am an overcomer in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. I am an overcomer in the name of Jesus. I am an overcomer in the name of Jesus. Nothing will bow down my head in this journey of this second half of the year. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father, because it is done. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. So that's what made the psalmist to come to verse 15. He says, my times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hands of my enemy, from them that persecute me. Hallelujah. I just want us to say to the Lord, Lord, I release my life to your life. I release my life unto you in this new journey. Father, I make myself available. Lord, I make myself available. Father, I release my life to you. But Lord, you will use it as you want to. Yeah, my times and my season shall glorify your name. In the name of the Lord, you. I release it to you, Father. Yes, I will not use it as I lie. Yes, I release it to you as the commander-in-chief of my life. So help me, Lord, to be obedient. Help me, Lord, to be submissive. Help me, Lord, to be humble. Help me, Lord, to exhibit the fruit of the Spirit. Yeah, I surrender my life to you. That no works of the flesh will be able to take hold of my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Here am I, Lord. I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. The Lord will do as you will with me in this second half of the year. That the glory of God will show for out of my life. Out of all that I do this second half of the year. In the name of Jesus. That's my cry, Father. Lord, let it be. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Quickly, within the time frame that we have, why is the psalmist praying that my times and my season are in your hand? Look at verse 16 quickly. Say, make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me by thy mercy's sake. May the glory of God shine over our lives in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray in this journey, the glory of God will shine over my life. I shall not be put to shame. Can you declare that before the Lord? In this second half journey, yes, the glory of God will shine over my life. In the name of Jesus, the glory of God will shine over my life. In the name of Jesus, can you declare it? Let God hear you say something. Yes, in the place of prayer, the glory of God will reflect forth in my life. In the name of Jesus, that's my confession. In this second half of the year, in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost, the glory of God will show forth in my life. Can you declare, I shall not be put to shame. 
I shall not be put to shame. Lundele ke soko kapara. I shall not be put to shame. Lundele ke sakanka lia lababa. I shall not be put to shame. Lunde ke leke sekretaria. Shame is not my portion. Can you declare this second half of the year? Shame is not my portion. This second half of the year, shame is not my portion. This second half of the year, shame is not my portion. This second half of the year, shame is not my portion. For me as an individual, for me as a child, for me as a family, in the name of Jesus, can you declare shame is not my portion? In the name of Jesus. Linta liba boso koto lebo injeketeria. Ika sakataria. I shall not be put to shame. Munde ke lebo sendelea. Baka zakadakaria. Iko seke poliande leke separia. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we are pray. Verse 60. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. We shall enjoy the mercies of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, we shall enjoy the mercies of Can you tell to the Lord? Yes, I shall enjoy the mercies of the Lord. Yes, I shall enjoy the mercies of the Lord. Yes, I shall enjoy the mercies of the Lord. What shall you enjoy in this your second half journey of the year? I shall enjoy the mercies of the Lord. I shall enjoy the mercies of the Lord. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost, I shall enjoy the mercies of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Leke teke lebo sundelia, baka suri andele kebo sakataria, yeke puri andele ka sakataria, babandele bo sekretaria. In the name that is above every name. Yes. Save me by your mercy. Save me by your mercy. Hey, save me by your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Save me by your mercy. In the name of Jesus. Balika te kaliba sataria. So let it be love. 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 In Jesus' name we are praying. In Jesus' name. We are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I want us to pray. As I try to run, wrap up very quickly, I want you to talk to the Lord. The journey of the second half that we are starting now, I will not go in the wrong direction. There are decisions that you will take that will determine how you end this year. That's why I want you to talk to the Lord. I shall not take wrong decisions. I shall not go in the wrong direction. I receive grace not to take wrong decisions. I receive grace not to go into the wrong direction. I receive grace that this season will be a good season. Will be a season I will end well. And I'll have every reason to glorify the name of the Lord. Can you open your mouth and just talk to the Lord? I will not go the wrong direction. I will not take wrong decisions. This new season, I receive grace uh, not to take wrong decisions. I receive grace uh, not to take wrong decisions. I receive grace uh, not to take wrong decisions. I receive grace uh, not to go the wrong direction. In the name of Jesus, in this journey of this second half of the year, I enjoy the grace of God. I enjoy the mercy of the Lord. This season shall be good. This season shall be excellent. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want to also talk to the Lord. You know, the Bible says, in the book of Isaiah chapter 1, it says we shall eat the good of the land. But it's for those who are obedient. I want you to ask the Lord, whatever is the good in this new season, that shall be my portion. Whatever is the good... You know, the Bible says a young lion, they suffer lack, they go hungry. Say, but those who put their trust in the Lord, they will not lack any good thing. Listen to me. This is a season that we have come into, that there are goodness in this season. 
May you enjoy the goodness of this season in the name of Jesus. Say with me, I shall enjoy the goodness of this season in the name of Jesus. I shall enjoy the goodness of this season in the name of Jesus. I shall enjoy the goodness of this season in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say to God, yes, I shall enjoy the goodness of this season in the name of Jesus. I'm, I embrace the goodness. I embrace the fortune. I embrace the achievement. I embrace the progress. I embrace the upliftment. I embrace the achievement in the name of Jesus. I embrace it. I embrace it. I embrace it. I embrace it in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. I embrace it. I embrace it. I embrace it. That's my portion in the name of Jesus. In this second half journey, that's which I confer. That which I say before you, Lord, I say it ahead. This second half, that's my portion. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Father, so let it be. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. As we try to wrap up, I want us to look at verses 3 and 4 of that Psalms that we have read. And just take one or two prayer points. Before verse 4, say, pull me out of the net that they have laid privately for me, for thou art my strength. I want us to talk to the Lord. In this journey of this second half, I will not be a victim of any setup. I will not be a victim of any setup. If you're a businessman, under the sound of my voice, pray. If you're a government worker, under the sound of my voice, pray. If you're working in a, in a private company, pray. Even if you're a pastor, pray. I will not fall into any setup. I will not be a victim of any setup. In the name of Jesus, I want you to decree it as you go through the second half of the year. I shall not be a victim of any setup in the name of Jesus. Can you open your mouth and pray? Leka Pasire Apolegeze Gederia. I shall not be a victim of any setup this second half of the year in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. I shall not be a victim. My children will not be a victim. My wife will not be a victim. As a church, we shall not be a victim. As a family, we shall not be a victim. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I want us to pray it one more time. Individually, one could be a victim. Collectively, one could be a victim. But I want you to pray. Either individually or corporately, we shall not be victim of any setup in the name of Jesus. Can you declare that before the Lord? Can we declare that before the Lord? Can you declare that before the Lord? I shall not be a victim. My family shall not be a victim. Our church will not be victim. Our district will not be victim of any setup in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Father, hear us, Lord. We have come in a journey of the second half of the year. That we can set to your hearing. There shall be a performance in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Leka Parika Sotele Nalia, Iko Solika Syria, Ika Kadanda Bakadea, Lulu and the Kasi Kataria, Yokorian de Lika Sakaba, Uke Keku Sotelea, Yandalia Liporia Luso Tekaria. As we are decreeing, Father, it shall come to pass. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Can we pray for all our children? They will be safe and sound. The second half of the year, in the name of Jesus, wherever they are, all over the world, for every children that God has blessed us with, we decree and we declare, they shall be safe and they shall be sound. Can you open your mouth and say that to the Lord? Every child that you have given to us, in the name of Jesus, we pray over them. 
but they are safe and they are sound. We pray over them. They are safe and they are sound. We will not cry. We will not be sorrowful over any of our children. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. That's our prayer, Lord. This second half of the year, we send forth the word ahead for every child that you have given to us. Wherever they are all over the world, we decree in the name of Jesus that, Lord, we will not cry over them. They will be safe. They will be sound. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We're trying to round up now. I want us to pray against every form of pestilence, every form of pandemonium, every form of sickness that will make people to be running up and down. You know, there was a time it was COVID, and everybody was running over a helter skelter. I want us to pray against pandemonium, against every form of pestilence, against every form of uh, 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 evil around that will make people to be running helter skelter. I want us to pray, Father, we shall not be victim of any or such pan, uh, uh, pandemonium. We shall not be victim of any or such uh, of any or such evil evil occurrences. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Father, this is our prayer, Lord. As we go through this second half of this year, there may be pandemonium. There may be challenges. There may be evil uproar here and there. But we say we are not victims. We are overcomers. In the name of Jesus. We pray for our souls. The Bible tells us when there was pandemonium in Egypt, there was a time it was darkness galore in Egypt. But the Bible says the children of Israel that were on the other side, they were in light. Every evil that was happening in Egypt, it didn't get to Goshen, where the Israelites were. They were a special type of people. Can you talk to the law? This is the last prayer we are going to pray. Make my home a Goshen this second half of this year. Make our church a Goshen this second half of the year. Any vehicle I enter from one place or the other, make it a Goshen. Everything that concerned me, let it be a Goshen. Even if it is within Egypt, let it be a Goshen in the name of Jesus. Can you open your mouth and say that to the Lord? That's the last prayer we're going to pray. Make my home a Goshen. Make the environment where you are placed be a Goshen. Make the church you are placed as a Goshen. Make our district a Goshen. Let everything around us be a Goshen. Even if there is Egypt all around us, that you make us a Goshen. In the name of Jesus, by the power of God, by the presence of God, in the name of Jesus, let the power of God do it for us. And we have every cause to glorify your name. Can you just lift up your voice and bless the name of the Lord? Que paluco su cotoria. Yende lebo su calica sandaria. Lenda libo cotole que bocetoria. Yo conteria lique su to limba lica sacataria. Yayana mandore que sacataria. Father, we just thank you. Thank you for this sweet hour of prayer. Thank you for this time to call upon your name. Thank you for this unique time of crossing into the second half of this year. We possess it. It's our season of joy. It's our season of enjoying the goodness of the Lord. It's our season of achievement. It's our season of advancement. It's our seasons of God's glory shining over all. It's our season of joy. It's our season of happiness. It's our season that our head will be lifted up. It's our season of achievement. Father, so let it be. Because we have put our trust in you. Because we have committed this second half journey onto your hand. And that those that put their trust in the Lord, they will not be put to shame. We have decreed and we have declared. We shall not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. But joy is our portion. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen.